There's nothing more grueling or testing than attacking a savage, unrelenting mountain. To make it to the top without losing your life. Teamwork and trusting your partner is the key. One false step, one foul up, one betrayal, and death waits, the mountain servant. If there's one thing to be learned, it's choose your partner carefully. Any minute now? like watching the fox beat the hounds. Algernon, if I were you, I'd start running. Father shouting. Well, Wilcox, I'm impressed. Don't be a damn fool, Templar. Now listen to me. It was a test. Nothing more, nothing less. A test? What kind of test? And for what? A test for skill, for stamina, for behavior under stress. There are lives at stake. Like mine was a minute ago. You are a lunatic, Algernon. My credentials. You're aware of the emblem? I know who you work for. Your needed Templar. Now, you want five minutes, I'll give you five seconds. Now, what is so damn important to MI6 that you risk my life in some childish little test, hmm? And please, please don't give me some sob story about the fate of the free world hanging in the balance. Try Selma Morell. That's right, Selma. She was on holiday in Yugoslavia. The Albanian secret police kidnapped her. We want her back at any and all costs. And I'm the one to do it. You're not known to the Albanians. Selma once meant a lot to you. And more important, you're a superior mountaineer. Meaning she's held some place where the only approach is up. Do we have your agreement? All you have, Dame Edith, is a story without any proof and some most peculiar methods of recruitment. Thank you, but no thank you. Templar, refuse us and she'll be interrogated, tortured, 
twisted to their use. As what? Selma, my dear Templar, is a leading expert in counterinsurgency. Using her knowledge, terrorists from a dozen countries now training in Albania will be unleashed upon an unsuspecting world. We can't and won't let that happen. Well, Mr. Templar, change your mind. If I do, I'll let you know. All the civilians dead. You must kill sparingly. You're revolutionaries, not butchers. Starting positions. Take charge. What the hell do you think you're doing? Well, taking her to interrogation. Comrade Commandant. My orders were quite specific. No drugs, no torture. May I remind the Commandant, our orders are to get all the information we can from her as quickly as possible. To get it, verify it, and deliver our report to the Chief of Staff without any procrastination or delay. To do less, sir, could make us suspect of failing our duty. Thank God, Quattro, I have you to save me from criminal negligence. Or would it be treason? Now, unless you know somebody who can save you from a court-martial, you'll return Miss Morel to her room and leave her treatment to me, right? But, sir... I want her cooperation. You understand? She's trained to take pain, to lie till it becomes unendurable. She's a gift. A stroke of supreme good fortune. And I will not see what she offers us destroyed by your mindless lust to inflict punishment. Good day, Command Major. Good day, Comrade Commandant. Gift or Trojan horse. Did you hear the commandant? Take her back to her room. Well, if it isn't Mr. Buckingham. Ah, I've been expecting you, Templar. I thought you'd check up on our Dame Edith and Wilcox, so I came over to um, expedite matters. Well, have you decided? Would you, blind? I wouldn't waste too much time if I was you. The Morel woman must be rescued, and quickly. Or... Or what? I'll be frank with you, Templar. I don't subscribe to this mission. I think it's knight errantry and suicidal. But... Dame Edith has prevailed upon the Prime Minister, so I have to go along with it. However, there is a time limit. And after that, as Chief of Operations, I impose my solution, which is admittedly crude, but expedient. A hitman? Algernon, to be precise. Oh, Algernon. He never fails. So I've heard. Well, you keep a tight leash on him, Buckingham, if you know what's good for him. Right, our tea set, climbing gear, spade, Albanian peasant clothes. I hope they're authentic. Come on, Templar, we're behind schedule. It'll be dawn before you hit the beach. All right, Mr. Wilcox, you can pack them up. We'll keep our radio channel open right round the clock. One of us will always be monitoring. God willing, we should be able to move in and pick you up off the beach as soon as you have her. God willing. Don't put all your faith in heaven, Mr. Templar. Save a little for Vlora and Noli. They'll be waiting at the rendezvous. They're tough, smart, they've never failed us. Don't be afraid to lean on them. Right. Well, here's hoping the mermaids are friendly.
fretting Wilcox. You've been fiddling with that radio for half an hour. Occupational therapy. It's out of our hands now. Conscience, I suppose. If you put a wasp into a beehive, the bees tear it apart. That's what's going to happen to Templar. We had little choice. I'm asking myself if she's worth it. If I could, I'd send in a whole army to get Selma back. She's invaluable, you know that. Well, I think we should have neutralized her. Buckingham's way. Coming up to ETA. Mm. Hello? Move. Very quietly. Well, I think I prefer it here. Stay and you'll be dead by morning. There's a dozen patrols up on those cliffs. They'll shoot you in sight. That is, if I don't. I hear them. Now, quickly, your name. Well, you take your finger off the trigger, because I'd like to live long enough to tell you. Your name? Templar. Simon Templar. And what did you bring with you? A halo. That do. What else? Now, you asked for the password, and I've given it to you. You want anything else, you're going to have to shoot me, because that's all I was given. Any more, and I'd have shot you where you stood. I'd have known you were a fake. Change your clothes. We have no time to waste. Now, that's usually the kind of invitation I never refuse, but in this case, I don't even know your name. No jokes. Nor why you're meeting me here on the beach. The rendezvous was Lonky Crossing. That's three miles inland. I know where it is. So do the secret police, the army. They were waiting for you there as well as on the beach. Somebody betrayed us, understand? Yeah. That's why I came to get you. And why I had to make sure you were who you claimed. Now, for God's sake, change. Go on. I assure you I have seen naked men before. <sighs> do you know how to use an RT? You want me to call them, Edith? Yes, I certainly do. We got an informer in our midst. We better move on it damn fast. It's in there. Anything else to say? Yes. You still haven't told me your name. It's Flora. Flora. Gear than you, huh? Lady has a sense of humor after all. <sighs> right, whenever you're ready. Stay close to me. With luck, we can join up with Nolia at the fortress before dawn. Without it. You know you have an absolute obsession with death. Now, didn't anybody ever tell you? Shh, down. That way. Thousands of soldiers, all with one aim, to stop you. 
Well, nobody promised it was going to be easy. You decoded it? It reads like an obituary. A reception party waiting for Templar. But how? It's not possible. No, why not? It's not the first time we've been infiltrated. If there is an informer, he has to be in Rome. I suggest that from now on, we cut off all communications with everybody there, including Buckingham, until the mission's over. Well, in my opinion, it is over. There's only one thing left to do, pull out Templar before he's killed. Negative. The mission's too important to abort. But Algy's right. No more reports to Rome. I'll radio Templar and tell him what we've decided. That won't be necessary. He wouldn't have turned back, even if ordered. This area is restricted. What do you want? My truck. It broke down. I went to see if I could get help. I, I don't understand. I live near here. There's never been soldiers. Papers. Please help. Did you find any? No, but uh, perhaps if you can. I mean, I would be grateful if you had the time to... To what? Get myself good marshaled, execute it, fix it yourself, stupid peasant. You're good. I know. How far to the fortress? By back road. We won't make it until about midday. Hmm. You can keep my gun till then. If we're stopped, save the last bullet for yourself. You're not just good, you're thoughtful. Yes. What? You sure? What I want is a full security alert. Concentrate on the rock face, every available man. Set up whatever precautions you consider necessary. The beach ambush was a failure. Templar got through. But how could he? You said your informer told you exactly where he'd be landing. The mistake was ours. His footprints were spotted, but in spite of that, he evaded our patrols. That is good news. Begging the Commandant's pardon, I don't think you fully appreciate what I said. Appreciate? I'm deeply grateful. The British sent a top man either to rescue or kill her. And that, my dear Quirko, proves just how important this Morel woman really is. You've called a full-scale security alert? Yes, sir, of course. Then relax. By tomorrow this time, Templar will be dead, and the Morel woman out of her stupor and talking. Good day, Comrade Commandant. Uh, Major. Yes, sir. 
Thank you for keeping me informed. And for your continued unwavering confidence and support. The only thing I fully support, sir, is your desire to see this Templar dead. The machine gun nest, the barbed wire, they put that up this morning to block the rock face. Hmm. They're expecting me, all right. Where are they keeping Selma? East wing, she's there. The center block is for commanders, you see them training. The west wing near rock face is the interrogation complex. Hello, what's that, reinforcements? No, a service truck. It brings provisions, laundry, mail, takes rubbish and so on. Does it? How often, Nolly? Every day. Every day. Hate to arrive before the truck. Sorry, but we're behind schedule. I don't want the gate guards getting suspicious. We're almost there. Where is Cookie? It is Rota. All transport units have been detailed to the quartermasters. I haven't been informed. The unrest at the Yugoslav border. What about it? They are reinforcing the garrison. We, the women's army, have taken over their duties. Oh.
Stop laughing. Collect the rubbish and move out. Yes, sir. Hey, you catch the volume. Come on, Dave. Meme, you. Che vende l'ando Ashton Valum? Well, I'm with him. Come on, hurry it up. strong and this time not drugged. I'll tell the cook. In the meantime, you drink tea. that. Oh, you fool, Simon. You've been used and for nothing. Oh, darling, I don't know what you're talking about, but we're going to have to get out of here and very fast. Get out of here? I don't want to get out of here. What did Amy just tell you? That I've been kidnapped? Forced here? I defected, Simon. I'm here of my own free will. Your own free will? Oh, oh how clever they are. Clever and corrupt. Oh, they knew if they told you the truth, you wouldn't risk your neck one inch to pull me out. Well, do yourself a favor, Simon. Get out of here while you still have the chance. Or I'll be forced to turn you in, and I don't want to do that. This is just crazy. You wouldn't defect. You couldn't. Not to them, not to anybody. Couldn't I? Well, I have. Now, you've got ten seconds to get out of here. And then I'll call the guards. Simon. Please go. How did he get in? Some men are almost unstoppable. Come on! It's no use, Simon. Nothing. Nothing will induce me to go back. Well, I know one thing that will. Simon, no! on the job, boys. Here we go. 
go. Send it with my cases. Anything from your informer? No, not yet. We can wait no longer. Alert all border posts. Call the capital. Inform General Vasco at internal security. If you insist, sir. But my suggestion is that we deal with the escape ourselves. I got every man out and uh, helicopters and light planes searching. We will find them. And without being demoted. Or even worse. Half our delays will be there. If your informer hasn't checked in, or if we haven't found them on our own, then whatever the consequences, the capital must be informed. And remember, Major, I want the woman back alive. Templar, you can execute, for all I care. Yes, sir. Is that wise? With an informer still operating, you could be putting our necks in a noose. Dame Edith doesn't come in for the pickup. We're dead anyway. Just head for our alternative rendezvous. Let me do the worrying, eh? You'll do your worrying before a firing squad. And I won't lift a finger to help you. You want my advice? Kill her. She's excess baggage and a traitor. Why risk our lives for her? Oh, didn't you know? He's sentimental. And stupid. If you weren't, you'd let me go. With me back in their hands, there's just a chance they might not bother too much about you. I'm sorry, but the image of you training international terrorists to murder more effectively is something less than attractive. And darling, don't overestimate my sentimentality. You make a break for it, I might have to let Flora deal with you her way. Signal from Templar. Abduction, successful. You'll be at the alternative rendezvous by dawn. Right. Everything's working perfectly. Let's move. We'll leave you here. Wait till dawn. Stay off the road. I'm sure you know the drill. We'll make it. Take this. Uh, no, I don't think so. If I run into the Albanian army and we get into a little argument, this won't help me much. Nolly and I'll cover the crossroads back there. If they've picked up the trail, we'll try to hold the map as long as we can. But understand, we won't commit suicide for her. Yes, I understand. Thank you for everything. Tell me, Simon, what's it like to be kissed by a man? Hey! Flora, no! Now, don't push it, Selma. That's where she belongs, on her knees. Trust me, sooner or later, you'll have to kill her.
What the devil's happened to you, anyway? The question is, Simon, what's going to happen to me when you hand me over to Dame Edith? Assuming that both of us live that long. Well, hopefully you'll regain your senses. Oh, Simon. There's so much you don't know. So much I'd like to tell you. Well, try me. Oh, darling, I think you despise me even more than you do now. Well, what do we do now? Shack up for the night? Have a romp in the woods? Pick flowers? You choose. Well, I'll settle for anything that doesn't force me to knock you cold again. Oh, pity. You used to be so much more exciting. Yes, well, so did you. Now, before we bore each other to death, let's get undercover. We've got a long walk ahead of us. Now, get down. Well, it looks deserted enough. What do we do once we reach the water? Swim? First thing we do is we shut our mouths from now on. No more talk. Let's get out of here, Edson. Shot. Run. I'll distract them. Quack, oh, thank God! Stop or I kill her! I mean it, Tabler! Not at all. The choice is yours. Well, the third one sounds the most encouraging. If somewhat unbelievable, what do I have to do to earn it? Tell me about the woman. Why is she defected? What's really behind it? Well, Major, it looks as though you're going to have to shoot me because I don't have the foggiest idea. <laughs> Look, your last chance. So listen very carefully. I don't believe her sudden dedication to world revolution. I don't believe her, and I don't believe you. Now, tell me the real reason why she's here. And I become the commander of the fortress. And you go back to England in one piece. Well? It's quite simple, Major. She's insane. I wanted to just treat her like a mad dog and put a bullet through her head. The fortress, then. After a little more persuasion, You'll talk. And then you die. Real bundle of laughs, your Major, isn't he? Only one way now. Put me ashore at the last backup route. If Temple hasn't been taken, Maybe he can make it there. It's not only a long shot, it's tantamount to suicide. That's the chance I'll have to take. I'll get the rifle and ammo.
wrong. You're not just good, you're terrific. We'll take her to our headquarters, kill her, try to figure a way to get you out. Now you're wrong. She gets me out, because she's one of us. Aren't you, Selma? How long have you known? Ever since you tried to save me, at the cliff. Quirker suspects it too. You know, you and Dame Edith are even more devious than he is. You used me all the way. The harder I tried to get you out, the more likely it was they believed you were a genuine traitor. It was very nice, very clever. But why in hell didn't you let me in on it? Because it was a charade, Simon, that had to be played perfectly. If you knew the truth, there was a chance you might have given it away. Anyway, no matter what you think of me, I'd have done it again. Simon, you said she could get you out. How? You got an emergency route, just in case everything blew, right? Yep, it goes with a job. It's the River Vosa. It's about 13 kilometers away. Now you take the road down to the left. Yes, I know where it is. I can get within two kilometers of it. Then you have to go on foot. There's a guard post blocking the road. It's all right. I'll show you the way through the woods. That's it, then. Simon, I'm sorry you had to go through all this. It's just you were the best man they could find. The well, next time, if there is a next time, do me a favor, would you? Have them settle for second best. Downstream, you can't miss it. Are you trying to say goodbye? Yes. And if I stay here much longer, they're liable not to believe my heroic escape from you gorillas. Selma, you've done enough. Why don't you get out with me while you can? No. There's still far too much I need to know. I want to find out where their commandos come from, what their next targets will be, and who they've got marked for kidnap or for death. All right, do yourself a favor. Cut Quirko's throat. He's already done that by letting you escape. Come here. Believe me, in many ways I wish I was coming with you. There's still time to change your mind, you know. Well, what do you know? Another reception committee. You have no idea, Mr. Wilcox, just how bored I am with them. Defective firing pin, old boy. You see, Dame Edith guessed you.
tell me something, Wilcox, because I forget. Just what was Judas's punishment? I must say, I had my doubts. But you went along with it. That's the intelligence game, Templar. One uses any ploy to win. This ploy proved to be an exceptional one. You deserve the highest praise. The difficulty was to keep Selma's mission secret from Wilcox. I suspected him, of course, but I kept hoping I was mistaken. Still, it was Templar's show all along. Oh, yes, yes, I haven't forgotten him. Congratulations, Templar. Her Majesty's government is indeed indebted to you. And with Selma implanted securely, we can reap the harvest. Not to mention the bonuses, the elimination of Quirko and Wilcox. Indeed, an unholy alliance. Nasty pieces of work, both of them. Particularly Quirko. He wanted to be the new broom. Sweep away Exo and the establishment. And Wilcox, always in awe of power, went along with them. All told, a great victory. What about Selma? Selma? Yes, Selma. Now the game's over, what are you going to do? Forget about her? Selma will be all right, old fellow. I do assure you. He assures me. The man who was going to send in an assassin to kill her. I think you're right, Buckingham. I think she'll be just fine, and I'll tell you why. You see, if something happens to her, it also happens to you.